I probably lost my cell phone 50 times, keys 100. I'm always losing something. It's because I'm always in a rush. I'm always in a rush. Like the world is gonna end. It's not enough time. I'm from Meridian, Mississippi. Me and the rest of my family came up here probably in 1989. We came here to get away from trouble, basically. Once I did arrive in Sandusky, I met a group of, of great friends. There's some great people in Sandusky, and I met some great Italian families, some great German families, some great Korean families, and all those people told me that it doesn't matter what the color of your skin is, just be you. And, you know, good people tend to be around good people, so. A pioneer is somebody that starts from the, the bottom with some, some hope and faith, and he's fearless, not scared of failure. I would say George Wilson, Mr. Wilson from Sandusky High School would be a pioneer to me because he was the first person to grab me by my hand and shake me with a firm grip and tell me, Derek Moore, you can do anything you wanted to do or be anybody that you wanted to be. I was uh, trying to enroll in the, the Navy. Make a long story short, I was accepted into a nuclear power sub school. I usually don't tell people this, but I was busted in 1992 for uh, aggravated drug trafficking, attempted aggravated drug trafficking, which pretty much threw all chances of me going to nuclear power school, you know, out the door. I failed a lot of people, including myself. After that, that's when I began to, to think about what I should really be doing with my life. So what I did was, is I'm like, okay, well, one of the things that I'm really good at is cooking. Uh, I always watch my grandparents cook. I always watch my mom cook, friends and family cook. My girlfriend at the time helped me purchase the food trailer. That's when I really began with the Facebook postings, you know, everything I cook, everything that involved food. All of a sudden, I get a phone call one day and somebody's like, Derek, would you like to basically have your own place? And I'm thinking to myself, wow, man, this is a perfect opportunity for me to, to be able to, you know, let, let, let the city of Sandusky know that, that I can really cook. During my divorce period, I began to read the Bible and those words comforted me because I do believe in a higher power. What's the difference between being joyful and being happy? And happy, amen, sometimes is based on the circumstance. I guess from those mistakes that I made, some of those opportunities that I took for granted, I'm trying to make up for it with food. Hey, I love to give back. May not have a lot to give. But I, I can I can give my time or bake some cookies or something and give back. But you know this is a great city. Summertime you can enjoy Lake Erie, Cedar Point. But at the same time, there's a lot of great people here. And when I look at the people coming through the door saying, "Derek, hey, we see your hard work. We support you. Don't go nowhere. Keep fighting." That's what I did, and it's not a lot of money that I made, I really can't tell you that I made money, but I'm happy.